Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. If you're just joining us, this is Journalist Angout. And I've been hanging out with Adewale Adeoye and uh, Olabisi Deji for today. Before we went on a break, we were about to talk about the issues happening in a boy in South Senatorial District between the state governor, Debo Umari, and Ann Agom Eze. Interesting development, you would call that. A lot of people would have expected that the court already recognized Agom Eze, who came second. Why call for a fresh election? That, that, in fact, that is, the, that is the problem. The same court that recognized Han Eze is still the same court that granted uh, Ubai or the APC in the state the power to conduct a rerun re within 14 days. So you see that it is still the same court that is granting all this order, and you, you now wonder which one will stand. Now, um, when Umai Junior, who happened to be the placeholder, Austin Umai, yeah, Austin Umai, for his elder brother, the governor, declined and said I was no longer interested. That was when the court ruled that Anne Eze, having come second, second in that election, should now be the candidate of the party in that election. Of course, at that time, Umai just came and wanted to just take over from, his, uh, from Austin, which is not done. And that was the basis why uh, an Eze went to court. Now, after that ruling, you can see that even the ruling of the court was what Eze went to an appeal court to interpret. Because the same court that said she should be recognized as the candidate is still the same court that is saying, well, there is room for a rerun and it can be done within 14 days. So it's like a, it's like a, it's not a straightforward verdict, mm -hmm. so to say. And that was why she went to court to seek an interpretation of that aspect of the law. And of course, during that time, the party organized a rerun and the products and or results of that rerun was the election of the governor who claimed to have a very strong verdict, having scored 250 votes out of about 275. Do you get? So now, the issue is still with the courts. INEC has recognized Umai because the same court, and interestingly, it's still the same court, the Federal High Court in Abakaliki that is giving all these yes, orders. Yes. It is still the same court that gave Umai an expert motion that allowed him to organize a rerun and be recognized as, as, the, a as the candidates of the party. So I think this is a test case for the court, for the judiciary, mm -hmm. because where does this woman stand now? She had, she had a case because she was recognized as a winner by a court. But the other party also has a case because the same court also allowed for a rerun to be carried out. And that rerun was conducted and another candidate emerged from that rerun. So where do you place the two of them? So I think it is the appeal court that we see do the interpretation. But right now, I don't know who the candidate of APC is in that state. All right, Adewale. In several, in other reports, um, Austin Umayu was not identified as a placeholder because yeah. if he was a placeholder, it was okay for him to have, you know, normally handed it over to, to the governor, David mm -hmm. Umayu. Mm -hmm. But in this case, what exactly is happening here? Well, I think, you know, in my own view, um, if you look at the first primary, I think May 28, mm -hmm. um, she's called... I think two votes, two votes as against 280 scored by Austin. And those, the, those 280 votes actually were for um, the governor yeah. in any way. So now, the court that gave her, that proclaimed her as the governor, as, I mean, as candidate. the candidate, mm -hmm. the party knows that 
somebody that scored two votes in his party, mm. the likelihood of winning the general election is slim. Is slim. And that the likelihood of defeating the state governor going for a senatorial election without the support of Umahi in that senatorial district will also be very difficult. So I think that's why I decided, okay, look, we've got to challenge, you know, this process. And then he went to court to get an injunction that it should be, I should declare him as the governor, I mean, as the candidate, uh, candidate for a boy south, this in that district. What I see clearly in this case is that there is the absence of internal conflict resolution mechanism within the party. There is absence of quality leadership, you know, and I also think it seems some people are in the same party, but they don't have shared aspiration. Mm -hmm. Because if you have leadership in the days of UPN, even MPN, you know, um, and, all, and those, they will have, some people in the party will have called them together and say, look, call all of them, all the stakeholders, let us resolve this thing. By going to court, they have made it complicated. Even if Umayi eventually wins, the likelihood of another third party challenging him that his election did not pass through due process is possible. So we may have a situation where APC may not actually have a similar candidate if they are not careful. Mm. So I, I think this idea of going to court, where people have to resort to court, when they but internal party matters, it's always better that people come together and resolve it without going to court. Because it's always the best way. If the party is really uh, well structured, you know, it will be better to sit down and resolve the problem. But I think I should commend the courage of this woman, you know, in a society dominated by, by men, for her to stand our feet, whether wrongly or rightly, you know, to have pushed our case up to this level. But we are waiting for the Court of Appeal to give us a final uh, verdict on that. All right, let's quickly take Ada from Joss. Hello, Ada. Hello, Donali Changa. This is uh, calling from George Plateau Good evening and welcome. Um, our court, our court uh, that's the, the judiciary, if you ask me, they're just in a mess. They, they, they don't have any independence. That's why we're having all these kind of uh, judgment. Look at the one of us. The vacation judge gave uh, an, an obo, obo, uh, judgment. Obo again, legal balance means a, a judgment that will just give the government uh, uh, time, you know, and they promote the strike. doesn't make sense. That was a reckless one. Then when it comes to the Benway crisis about uh, insecurity, the, the general insecurity is leading to full insecurity, and the National Assembly is not helping matters. Until we see insecurity as a national problem, we will not get it right. All right. We may thank leave you very much, Adam. Buhari said that uh, state police was... Uh, thank you very much for your contribution. Now, Mr. Mahmoud, Madam Alavisi, there is now an allegation of... Okay, Adewale says... Um, it should be normal for Anne to say, okay, I scored two votes. Let me step down and, you know, join the process <laughs> for, for us to win this election. And going by some reports coming out lately, Governor Umai is accusing her of demanding for 20 mm. million naira mm. before stepping down. Anyway, I, I won't <laughs> want to go without a report because uh, that could be a blackmail. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so... Uh, I, I think the prop, the, this whole problem started with this issue of place ownership. Mm. You get? It starts from the point of, from the point when an individual is focused on getting two things at the same time. The governor wanted to be a president mm. and he went to contest. He lost. He wanted to be home. president and a senator at the same time. I think we need to talk about that, about that greed of our politicians. Why they want to always get the highest bite of everything. Because if you, if you had wanted to be a senator and you had remained there, wouldn't have been a problem. I, we know that is the governor is probably more popular than all of that. And there wouldn't have been a problem. But the woman that scored two votes, honestly, it is within her right. Whether she scored one, she came second. <laughs> <laughs> and we cannot deny her of that. But it's obvious that uh, even if she had participated in the rerun, like the other party members have said, she may not have even got anything that is substantial. But you see, what the governor did provided the room for this confusion in the first instance. Yes. 
And the, this electoral law that we have, I learned there is a section that says that you should not engage in two primaries mm. in the same year, and that the punishment for that is two yes. years imprisonment. When will our court rule that whoever does that gets that punishment? Until we do that, we may not have sanity. All right, uh, let's quickly take Charles from Lagos. Hello, Charles. Hello, good evening, journalist Hangout. Good evening to you. Okay, in terms of uh, the Ebony State fact, uh, uh, right. that I think it has come to a station whereby the, the is now to start bringing somehow some morality to their judgment. There is no reason why this man wants to be the president and, his, and how he wants to be, be, be uh, go to the Senate as well. I think this is the Senate. I think the government wants to end up in the Senate after eight years. The next place will be Senate. She also considered the idea of even having just one uh, legislative house. Because some of them are going there contributing nothing whatsoever. When you watch television, what, what's happening on that on the floor of those two chambers? Some of them are just there sleeping. My they're making calls. All right, thank you very much, Charles. Thank you for your contribution. Um, Mr. Diwali, we have seen the huge commotion. Yeah. Placeholder, this placeholder thing has caused in, in our politics. Now, consider the kind of politics we practice in Nigeria. Does this stand a chance? Well, I, I think if uh, we are looking at the... Because every law that you make, you, you, you test on the law. And when you discover that a particular section is creating complications, uh, the reasonable thing is to do is to expunge that section. I think we need to do something about this you know, placeholding thing. Um, for me, I think it should be, you know, there should be a law. You know, we should amend the electoral act so that people cannot uh, eat their cake and at the same time they want to have it. All right, quickly, let's talk about the high, alleged high-handedness of state governors. Yeah, the, in the past, um, the party is surely controlled by the stakeholders in the party, not necessarily the governor. You know, you have the party chairman, who is, in fact, the governor, you know, the first to the party chairman. But in this case, now you have a situation where a party has become a kind of stock exchange, whereby the, the shareholders that own about 90% of the, share, uh, the shareholders are owned by big men. So in the past, you know, my mother, for instance, used to contribute to UPN. They would give you a card, you know, five naira, two naira. Or in these days, you know, somebody would just come and donate 100 million, 200 million. So when somebody, you know, uh, plays the, the paper, it takes this too. So the Nigerians must take ownership of the political process. They must take ownership of the political parties. In a situation where the party is controlled and manipulated by individuals, the people's voices will be trampled upon. They will not have the right to even assert themselves. That is exactly what is going on now. All right. Mm -hmm. I Our think the, take. the governors are very powerful because they fund the parties. And, uh, you know, uh, they, they use uh, state funds. And because uh, they control the funds, they also control the party. So that is why they are high handed and uh, they, they take decisions on what should uh, happen in the party. Even the scenario is painting is even fast dying because uh, individuals no longer want to use their money mm. for, to run political parties again. They want to use the state's money to fund the parties so that they don't lose anything. Mm. And that is a very dangerous uh, development and that is the reason why you will always have the governors that are more powerful than the state, more powerful than the party, and more powerful than the people. All right. Thank you very much. Let's